Techno Nicole Corporation, the leading international manufacturer and supplier of roofing, waterproofing, thermal insulation and sound absorption materials, presents a budget-friendly material for beautiful and reliable pitched roofing. Easy roofing. It is a heat-resistant APP modified bitumen waterproofing membrane. On the back side of Easy Roofing package, there is a convenient step-by-step -step instruction, which helps to install the material correctly. The back side of the material is covered with a special protective film, which easily melts when heated and does not disturb the melting of the bitumen compound. The top side of the material is covered with hydrophobized bright-colored basalt granules with a pattern. The granules protect the bitumen compound from the destructive impact of UV and don't fade out in the sun. Snowflakes on the film will indicate the activity of the compound. If graphics become completely fused, the surface is all black, the material is overheated. The material is heated properly when the graphics are deformed but visible. For installation of easy roofing membrane, the following is required. Construction gloves, protective gloves for work with an open flame, safety goggles, a measuring tape, a one meter level, a pencil, a marking cord, a fur roller, a tray for primer, self-tapping screws with broad heads, washers, a drill with a cross bit, a roofing knife, big and small gas torches, a spatula, a silicone roller, a metal holder for rails unrolling and an assembled gas cylinder. For safety precautions, while performing the roofing works, it is necessary to put on a special thick protective building suit, footwear with a non-slip sole and a reinforced toe cap, and construction gloves. When working with an open flame, one should always wear protective goggles and fire-resistant gloves. When igniting a propane gas torch, turn the valve a quarter or a halfway, and after a short gas blowing, ignite the burning mixture and then adjust the length of the flame. To put out a flame of the torch, close the gas supply valve, then the LPG pressure regulator and push the trigger of the torch to get rid of the remaining gas in the hose. When working on a height or moving on pitched surfaces, it is necessary to use a special fall protection harness and a safety rope, as well as attach safety hooks to the surface of the roof. Installation of easy roofing is to be performed on a uniform, dry and even decking from fiber cement slabs, cement sand slabs, concrete or another non-flammable material. Relative humidity of the surface should not be more than 4%. Before installation of the material, clear the surface from litter, dirt and dust and if necessary, even the surface by filling in the cracks and leveling the irregularities. Measure the surface of the roof the length, width and diagonals of the slopes, as well as the length of the hips, ridges and valleys. To provide reliable adhesion of the material to the surface, prime the surface with bitumen prime coating by Techno Nicole. Apply a thin layer of the primer with a fur roller. After priming the surface, leave it to dry. To check the condition of the surface, apply a white cloth to the decking. If it does not stick and there are no black stains, then the surface is ready for further work. Installation of metal drip edges is required in order to provide better water drain from the roof and to prevent side surfaces of the roof from constant soakage during rains. At first, place the drip edge to the decking and adjust it relative to the roofing plane. Then prepare holes for the fixation. The fastening span is from 120 to 150 mm and should be performed with a shift. Fasten the drip edge mechanically to the surface of the roofing and the holes with galvanized self-tapping screws. Form the external and internal joint angles between the drip edges. Cut the pieces of the material of required length 
according to the measurements of the roof surface made in advance. Cut the excesses off to form a correct pattern on the roof. Roll up the resulting fragments of the material. Installation of the roofing material is to be performed starting from the valley zones. Unroll the roll of easy roofing in the valley zone and align the material relative to the center of the valley. For preliminary fixation of the material to prevent it shifting during the main torch on application, torch the center of the sheet in the valley zone, leaving the material in the drip edge area untorched. After that, fold one of the halves of the sheet on the central line and torch it to the surface, still excluding the drip edge area. Install the other half of the sheet similarly. To provide correct water drain in the valley zone, Cut the material in the drip edge area and form a slight rounding tab. When removing excesses, put a slab underneath the material and only then cut it where necessary. After that, torch the material in the drip edge zone and press it to the surface. After the complete torch on of the sheet and its cooling, Perform some additional mechanical fastening along the two sides of the material with galvanized self-tapping screws with washers. The fastening span has to be from 250 to 300 mm. After the installation of the material, start forming the valley. For that, mark the center of the valley with a marking cord. Then mark the gutter line of the valley. Its width depends on the location of the building and varies from 50 to 150 mm. Under trees, it is recommended to make the gutter of the valley wide for easy removal of leaves and litter. Start installing the material only after aligning it to the surface relative to the plane of the roof. At first, torch the material in the drip edge zone, carefully pressing it to the surface after torching. Roll up the remaining part of the material. Then torch the material from the bottom upwards unrolling the roll over the surface with a metal holder. Control the intensity of bitumen flowing. It should not be excessive and cross the edges of the material. Important note, to avoid spoiling of the granules and pattern, it is forbidden to walk on the front surface of the material during the torching and until the material is fully cooled off. In case the slope of the roof exceeds 14 degrees, Perform some additional mechanical fastening of the material in the ridge zone with galvanized self-tapping screws with washers after the torching. The fastening span has to be 150 mm with a 50 mm shift from the edge of the material. In case the slope of the roof exceeds 14 degrees, fasten the material to the surface in the zone of a lateral overlap with galvanized self-tapping screws with washers. The fastening span has to be 150 mm. Installation of the next rail of easy roofing should be started with adjustment at correct junction with a pattern on the roof. Then perform the torch on application of the material in the drip edge zone, followed by the regular torching of the roll on the remaining part of the slope. Make sure that the flowing out of the bitumen compound in the zone of lateral overlap formation should not exceed 2 mm. It is necessary in order not to spoil the pattern integrity on the roof. After the torch on application and complete cooling of the material, it is necessary to check the quality of an overlap with a spatula to make sure that it is sealed over the entire seam area. Areas with disturbed integrity should be repaired. If a transverse joint occurs on the roof, at first, cut the angle of the underlying sheet of the material in the T-shaped seam zone at an angle of 45 degrees to create a better sealed junction with the next roll. Then torch the underlying piece of the material.
In case the slope of the roof exceeds 14 degrees, fasten the material to the surface in the zone of an overlap with galvanized self-tapping screws with washers. The fastening span has to be 150 mm with a 50 mm shift from the edge of the material. Important note, in case of mechanical fastening in the zone of the overlaps, all self-tapping screws should be covered with the following layers of the material. The integrity of the top layer should never be disturbed. Then align the following piece of the material in accordance with the pattern on the roof and cut the opposite angle of the upper sheet in the area of the future T-shaped seam. Torch the material onto the underlying layer in the zone of a transverse overlap. It has been proved that the special basalt granules used in the production of easy roofing provide reliable adhesion with the following sheet of the material with no additional means. In case of correct torch-on application, an overlap should be at least 150 mm wide but it depends on the pattern of the adjacent sheets. Make sure that the flowing out of the bitumen compound in the joint area does not exceed 2 mm. After the torch on application and complete cooling of the material, it is necessary to check the quality of an overlap with a spatula to make sure that it is sealed over the entire seam area. Areas with disturbed integrity should be repaired. To increase the reliability of the waterproofing in the zone of hips and ridges, it is necessary to form an additional overlap from the sheet of the material of the adjacent slope. The overlap should be at least 100 mm wide. Before the installation of the material in the valley zone, cut the sheet to the marked gutter line. Put a slab underneath the material in order not to disturb the underlying layer during cutting. After cutting, torch the material, carefully moving along the valley strip installed earlier. Hip and ridge elements of the roof should also be made from easy roofing material. For that, Cut fragments from the roll. A fragment should not be more than 500 mm long and at least 400 mm wide. Align the fragment to the hip and torch it. At first, torch the central part of the element along the hip line to prevent it from shifting. Then torch the fragment from both sides separately, not forgetting to press it to the surface. Control the flowing out of the bitumen compound. In case the slope of the roof exceeds 14 degrees, perform an additional mechanical fastening of the element to the surface. Each side of the fragment has to be fastened with two galvanized self-tapping screws with washers in the zone of the future overlap. Then install the following hip element. The width of an overlap between elements should not be less than 150 mm. Don't forget to fasten the element to the surface if the slope of the roof exceeds 14 degrees. Install the remaining hip elements similarly. Overlaps should be formed from the bottom upwards, so that the upper fragment of the material always covers the underlying one. Control the integrity of every seam with a spatula. Install ridge elements in a similar manner. Easy riffing membrane of different patterns and colors is a beautiful, reliable and budget-friendly solution to your roof. It will not only enrich the house with an elegant finishing touch, but it will also protect the internal premises from leakages and reduce the noise of rain. Thanks to the special APP modified bitumen compound and bright basalt granules, the roof will serve you for many years, being the feast for your eyes and soul.